A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. The early settlers in the western United States worked hard to wrest a living from the soil. And though in time nature repaid them, they were unable to neglect their ranches or their cattle for a minute. As a result, the office of sheriff was held in many cases by a man who lacked the proper qualifications for the job. This, in turn, made the work of the masked rider of the plains more difficult. But he continued his fight for justice in spite of every discouragement. And in time, he brought law and order to a lawless frontier. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come along, Silver! Tunnel's waiting in the trail ahead! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, were riding toward Osage when the first shot split the night. Tonto, that sounded like a gun. Not right. There's another. Maybe third shot come. That danger signal. Steady, steady, Silver. There it is. Three space shots. Kimosami, that's the signal that helps needed badly. It come from that way. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. There's a house of some sort over there. See it? Uh, it's plenty dark round house. Just make it out. I'm sure that's where the shots were fired. We find out plenty soon. Now I see a dim light in one window. I'm trying to see it. It's a candle set on the table inside. Oh, that. Oh, oh let's go. Let's get it. Oh, let's go. Take around the outside of the house. I'll go in. Huh? Tonto, do it there. Wait there, Silver. No, wide open. Oh. Steady, stranger. Help me. I'll help you. Come. Come close, stranger. Who fired those shots? You you heard three shots? Yes. It it was me fired. Fired two of them. Tell me who shot you. The the killer. He come in and I knowed him. Yes? I I fired and missed. He drilled me, then left. The third shot? I I done that firing. Third shot. Danger signal. Help. Save your strength. That's a bad <laughs> wound. I'll have a dress for you right away. Then we've got to get you in that bunk and have... No. It's too late for that. Perhaps not. Listen. Listen close. Listen to what I say. I... I know who the killer is. I'm the fourth... The fourth one he's killed. Name him. He... <laughs> Steady now. He is... <laughs> Now, 
While the Lone Ranger tried desperately to save the old man's life, two other riders headed toward the house. I tell you, Bart, if that mysterious killer has got old Cephas Conway, it ain't nothing short of being a worst doggone puzzle we ever had around these parts. I sometimes think we're blame fools to be deputy sheriffs, Jack. Why? We do all the thinking and the hard work. We fetch kin a killer, why, we don't get the blame for it. I know it. We do fetch one in, old Thunderhead just sits there in a the rocking chair and takes all the credit. Yep, just so. But we can't let the sheriff down. <laughs> Fire-eating old Gila monster. If he had the use of his legs, I'd punch his nose and quit. We can't quit a man in his condition, though. He counts on us. Yeah. There's Cephas' place now. But I wonder how Sheriff Brell suspected Cephas might be in danger. I don't know. There ain't no way of telling how old Thunderhead knows things. I sometimes think he just gets blamed good hunches. Maybe that's so. Other times, I think he has scouts reporting to him. Whatever it is, he sure is shooting keeps us in saddle leather. Sure does, and I'll tell you one thing. If he sent us riding all the way to Cephas' house on nothing more than a hunch that the doggone killer that's been working around Osage would strike there, and if said hunch ain't right, there's one deputy that's going to shoot his mouth off a plenty. Hey, ain't that a horse outside Cephas' house? Can't tell much in the dark. Looks to be something on four legs. A horse right enough. Cephas ain't no horses that color, has he? Didn't have last week. Here we are. Oh, 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 there. oh boy. Oh, oh. There's someone inside. There's Cephas on the floor. Heist your hands there, mister. Mask to the killer. Out of my Stop. way. Hey. Hey. Oh, Stop him. him. Shoot, shoot, Jack. Get him. Well, Sheriff, as soon as he seen us there, he lowered his head and rushed us. Yeah, and we was looking for him to slap leather. He took us off guard, smacked into me hard, and slammed me back again the wall. That's right, Sheriff. Then he shoved his hand in my face, and by the time we turned around, he was jumping from the porch to the saddle and high-tailing like greased lightning. And you didn't shoot him? Gosh, we poured lead after him, but he was like lightning, and it was dark as the inside of a mine. Ah, uh, I don't know why I keep a couple of slow-thinking, no-account deputies like you on the job. You let the killer get clean away. And him with four deaths to hang for. Uh, I'd sure like to see him hang for murdering poor old Cephas. Then why didn't you shoot him? What's the idea of drawing guns on him and then letting him charge into you? Uh, if only I had the use of my legs. I'd show you how to bring out laws to justice. I'd sure like to see you. It's easier to sit there and talk. I told you Cephas was in danger. And I told you he'd be the next one to get killed. But how'd you know that? He come here to town last week. Oh, me and Jack didn't know that, did we, Jack? No, we didn't know he'd come to town. Well, he did. He went to Judge Parker and told him he had a pretty fair notion who the killer was. Yeah? That was just after Doc Grant was killed. Hmm. And Conway was killed just two days after them two immigrants come to Osage. Yeah. Well, as I say, the judge brought Cephas here and he was going to bring me proof as to who the killer might be. I figure it's got to be someone right here in town. And I figure that whoever it was knowed that Cephas was going to name him and bring in some clues. That's why I sent you two there. I savvy. Cephas didn't come as he was supposed to. No. So I wondered what was wrong. Well, you went there and seen the killer in the act. And you let him get away. Blast you for a couple of fools. Now, hold on, Sheriff. We ain't the fools you call it. We got something in the way of information that maybe even you didn't know. Yeah. Tell him, Bart. There ain't just one killer. There's two. Two? Just so. When that hombre rode off, he yelled to an engine. We caught a glimpse of the redskin riding off from beyond the house. That's downright interesting. A redskin, eh? And what's more, we hunted around the house with a lantern and found footprints. The redskins? That's right, Sheriff. He wore moccasins. If we find him, we can prove he's the man by fitting his feet in them prints. Good. Then we'll find him. We'll have men scour the whole doggone county if need be. Bring in every Indian you see till you get the right one. His name is Tonto. Uh, good to know that. It may help. Now go on, boys. Go on. Oh, how I wish I had the use of my legs. I'd show you how to run them killers down. <laughs> Masked Man and Tonto, after leaving the scene of the murder, made camp not far away. The next day, 
The Lone Ranger disguised himself and went into town. He returned that evening and told Tonto what he had learned. Everyone in town thinks we're the killers, Tonto. Mm, that's right. I had to make that break to escape last night. There was too much evidence to point to my guilt. And I wouldn't have had a chance of proving that someone else killed that old man if I'd been captured. No, teller in town, more sure. Yes. What you find out? Cephas was the fourth mysterious death. Oh. There were two people who came from the east, a man and his wife. They were murdered and robbed. Who do that? I don't know. Then a doctor in town was killed, but not robbed. And then what happened? Cephas came to town and thought he could help find the killer. He had some sort of a clue. Uh -huh. He went to the judge, a man named Parker. The judge and Cephas talked to the sheriff. And Cephas was to go to his home and return with the evidence he had. When he didn't come back, the sheriff worried and sent deputies to see him. And them find him dead? Yes. What we do now? There are the facts. There's a murder around town. Right now, everyone's looking for two men. One with a mask and the other an Indian. Uh -huh. If we stay around here, they'll find us. Twenty men are searching. Uh -huh. Maybe better we go away, huh? If we go away, Tonto. We'll be considered the murderers. The real killer will never be punished. You got plan? Yes. What plan? Listen to me carefully, Tonto. I'll outline it for you. It calls for risk, but finding the real murderer is worth some risk. The next morning, the sheriff sat in his rocking chair on the porch of his home and watched Jack and Bart ride toward the house, leading a white horse. Hey, what have you boys got there? Come on, there, flash Where'd you get that white horse? Look at the critter fight them all. Get him up there. Get him, bless your hide. Oh, get that horse out of his track, Jack. Hey, is that an unseen drunk or what? Stay there. there. Got the rope, Jack? That'll hold him. How do you like that, Sheriff? We captured the killer's horse. And where's the killer? I ain't seen him. We come on a camp, and there were signs of one man being around there and his horse. We hunted for the owner, but he couldn't be located. But well, we fetched the horse in anyhow. Well, that's something. The killer's without a horse. He can't travel far now. Hey, Sheriff, there's someone coming. Look at him. Paid horse? Yeah. That critter walking ahead is a redskin. Grab him. Grab all engines. Uh, stick your hands up. This is my prisoner. Hold that. Hold on. Hey, you stranger, you on that paint horse. Yes? Come here. That's what I intend to do. I want you to throw this Indian in jail. By thunder, that's just what we will do. Shut up, Jack. I'll handle it. Hey, what have you got against him, stranger? Trying to take this horse away from me. Yeah? Well, now, Injun, where's your horse? There, horse. That's my... Oh, so that big white one's your horse, eh? See how the horse lets a redskin touch him? He wouldn't let us do that. It's his horse, all right. And they're moccasins. Well, do you want a prisoner you... or not? Can a man ride into Old Sage without being attacked by an Indian? Reckon he can, fella. You're from the east, eh? Didn't I come from that direction? Reckon you did. So the redskin tried to take your horse? Yes. Uh-huh. Boys, does them moccasins of his look like they'd fit the marks you found? They sure do. Wait. Injun, have you got a name? Hmm. Uh. What are you called? Me named Tonto. Wow, the blame fool admits it. I guess he didn't know who we was and what we seen, huh? You said the part of that masked man was Tonto. And so he was. Sheriff, this here is one of the two men we want. Did you want this man? We sure did, stranger. And don't you worry. He won't try and take no more horses. Is there a reward for him? Well, I... If there is, I'm staying around town. You get on about your business. You didn't arrest him as a killer. All you done was haul him in for trying to take your horse. You don't share in no reward. But after all, I brought... Well, you'd better clear out, stranger. Lesson you got business here. But listen here, Sheriff. Well, you heard me. Now get along. Very well. No sense letting strangers stay around here and cut in the reward no, money. Now lock that engine up. I'll question him by and by and make him tell where his masked partner is hiding out. Jailed by the sheriff, Tonto must depend on the lone ranger to save him from the hangman. And the only way the masked man can do this is by finding the real killer. In just a moment, the second act of the Lone Ranger drama will be presented.
Now to continue our story. The sheriff ordered his chair carried to the door of Tonto's cell. Then he and Judge Parker questioned the Indian. Indian, there's a chance that the jury might be lenient with you. After all, the man the law is interested in capturing is a white man. Tonto, not tell. It's true, ain't it, that your part is someone right here in town? Maybe him in town. We all understand that you were just a tool of the white man. Now hold on, Judge. That Indian can't savvy your highfalutin talk. Only way to get him to squeal is by rough handling. That won't make him talk, Sheriff. No amount of torture would loosen his tongue. Killer, no, Tonto, not guilty. Not guilty? Why, you loco coyote? Do you mean to say you're going to claim to be innocent? Me give proof someday. Proof, eh? <laughs> you have proof? Uh, Tonto show proof someday. That's a good one. I'd like to know what that proof is. There can't be none. Sheriff Reld, it's possible that he has proof. Well, if he has, it's proof again his white pod. The engine is as guilty as sin. Sheriff, your handicap doesn't quench your spirit any. Not by a darn sight. You merit the name old Thunderhead. Uh, never mind that. Tell me this, Tonto. What possible connection is there between the four people who have been killed? The first couple were robbed. But old Dr. Grant had nothing to steal. Neither did Cephas Conway. Proof come maybe by and by. Who's bringing it? You find out. By and by. Sheriff, the Indian talks as if he was confident this proof would come and set him free. <laughs> You're from the East. You don't savvy the tricks a redskin will try and put over, Judge. But Sifa spoke of proof he had. Sure, and he was killed so as the killer could get that same and shut his mouth. Having done so, the masked hombre ain't going to fetch it back here, is he? I don't know. I'm not convinced that the masked man who left Sifa's house when your deputies rode up is the killer. You ain't? Why, of all the stubborn, hard to convince... Did the deputies see him shoot? No, but they got there when he was standing over the dead body. Then he made a break to get away. I know that. And they found that Cephas' place had been ransacked and something took from it. He must have been the one that took it. There ain't no one else could have done it. Well, I don't... Sheriff, we went back to Cephas' place and looked around some more. Well, them prints of the Redskins, all right. No question about that. <laughs> I could have told you that without you going there. We figured something else out. Yeah? That proof that Cephas had weren't anything very bulky. How'd you know that? Well, judging from the places the killer looked for it. It was blame small or he wouldn't have bothered hunting under the carpet in such places. The point is, did he find it? I don't know about that. All I know is that we didn't find it. <laughs> proof come by and by. Huh? What's that? Oh, the redskin claims he ain't guilty. And neither is his pod that rid the other white horse. Other white horse? Well, the engine had one. And you said the masked man hightailed on a whiten? Oh, that's so. But we didn't see the engine's horse. We got it here, ain't we? Right in the stable in back. Say, Redskin, when do you think that proof is due to get here? It come maybe tonight. How do you know? Me know. Feller fetch proof. Him come through Tuttle Pass. Tuttle Pass? That means he's coming from Red Rock Way. Isn't that right? We ain't counting none on that. You boys just keep hunting for the masked man and the white horse. As evening approached, the men in town began to argue against any further delay in hanging Tontos. I say we ought to lynch the critter. Ain't no doubt but what he's a plenty guilty. Sheriff's making a mistake in listening to us talk about proof coming through the past. That's how I figured. I say lynch him. But not now. Not while the sheriff's still up and around. Boys, is this lynch talk? Oh, evening, Judge. You better not hang around here. You'll be hearing things you'd sooner not listen to. Boys, don't do it. Now, Judge, it ain't no affair of yours. Wait. Perhaps the Indian is telling the truth. Wait, nothing. The sheriff was too blame lenient with him. It's time we had some law and order around here. Old Doc saved my hide one time, and now he's dead. I, for one, ain't letting that go without squaring things for him. I say the same. Come on, Judge. You and me will take a little walk. The boys has things to talk over. But I don't... Come on. Put your gun away. Well, then come along. Let's just have a walk. All right. Let me know what Judge, the plans are judge. when they get back, boys. We will. Yeah, we'll let you know. Now, boys, if the sheriff had the use of his legs and could get about... Then I'd say go and get the red skin right now. Yeah, the sooner the better. But being as he ain't able to get about, it'd be taking unfair advantage was we to do it so early. We better wait till he's in bed for the night. That's right. Now look, Steve, you go call on him, Savvy. Yeah. When he goes to bed and settles down quiet so he won't know what's taking place, you come back and tell us. 
We'll all be here waiting. Good enough. Then we'll move on the jail and get the red spear. <laughs> Sort of late, Sheriff. Yep. Reckon it is, Steve. Time I got to bed. Want me to help you? Nope. I got things fixed in my house here so as I can sort of shove from one place to wherever I want to go. Good enough. I'll mosey on then. Good night, Steve. Thanks for dropping in. Good night, Sheriff. There. That's you, Steve. It's me. Sheriff's going to bed right away. Good. We won't have long to wait then. Let's get down to the cafe. Right. The boy's all there? There and waiting. We can see when the sheriff puts his light out, then we'll allow an extra half an hour and then go get the redskin. Yep. men watched and waited. They saw the light in the sheriff's house go out, and then they went to the cafe and told their companions. Ain't long now. Half an hour, and then we move. Hey, fellas! Boys! The deputy! What are you doing here? He was out in the range hunting that masked man. Boys, we come back to town, and we just found out that the white horse is gone. The engines? Yeah. Taking the barn behind the jail. It's gone. Who took it? How do we know? Jack, that loss don't mean nothing to us right now. We got other plans, Savvy. But you gotta listen to is... The redskin won't never have the chance to straddle that horse again anyhow. But the sidle, the bridle, everything's gone. Bart's hunting up the judge to tell him. Why the judge? Well, you know how things are. The sheriff ain't able to get about. Most of us go to the judge with things when the sheriff's a bed or when he ain't at the office. As I says, it don't matter none. The sheriff told us never to wake him up with things. Will you stop talking about it? We're aiming to string the redskin up. But you can't well, do it. We don't need to be stopped, Sammy, that Jack. Now, if you don't want to start trouble, you won't interfere when the odds are big against you. Uh-huh. Hi, Savvy. Good. Let's get started now. Sure. There ain't no use waiting any longer. When the group at the table rose, everyone in the cafe knew that the hour of hanging was at hand. They trooped from the place a body of nearly 50 men, some carrying ropes, others rifles to prevent interference with their plan. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger headed from the east and came toward Tuttle's Pass. It's good to be with you again, Silver Old Boy. If everything works out, we'll have Tonda with us in a few minutes. A man crouched behind a rock at the pass. At the first sound of approaching hoofs, he raised his long rifle and took careful aim at the rider. With each second, the lone ranger drew closer to the rock. The crouching man was ready. His finger closed on the trigger, but suddenly a sharp command rang out behind him. Drop the gun, Sheriff. Who was that? Come on, Silver. You're covered. You've given yourself away. Ah, I'll my hand. All right. All right, good friend, but now... Yeah. That'll hold yourself. Making believe you couldn't walk held you above suspicion for these murders. You! You're the masked man, that part! Yes, I am the masked man. Thought I had to go to jail to let you know that I'd be coming through this pass. He had to make you think that the letter you burned in Seaver's place hadn't been entirely destroyed before I got there. You heard me coming and had to make your escape. Stranger, in the name of heaven. What's the matter, Judge? Your friend, the Indian, they're hanging you. Hanging, Tonto! No! Yes. Hail, Silver! Straighten the engine up! He's riding this way! Look at him come! Come on, Silver! 
about the killings and he wanted the judge with it. The doctor was killed because he learned that the sheriff could walk. The first two died because they saw the sheriff when he robbed them. Severs didn't know who was guilty when he came to town with his letter. All he knew was that the mysterious killer was an important man in town. The sheriff was afraid, so he killed Severs. He had to run when he heard Toto and me coming. He threw the letter in the fire and left the house. Severs told me everything before he died. But the sheriff thought the letter gave his name and had not been burned. He waited there at the pass, thinking the letter was being brought there. The judge is there now, holding him a prisoner. That ornery cuss, that's how he knows so much. I told the judge everything, and he helped set the trap. Go get the sheriff. He's your man. <laughs> Scout's waiting outside of town. Oh, we'll both ride Silver to get him. Well, me... Me ready now. Hi, Silver! Hello! Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hills! There's going to be trouble in the gold country! Hi, Silver! Hello! you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>